could you kind of recognize this instantly as being bowel? You can see mucosa. You can see smooth muscle. You could see perhaps uh, serosa or adventitia surrounding that. And even though this is cut kind of funny, maybe it was bended over and it looks artifactually like the mucosa is too thick. In this area here, you could see more of a textbook normal pattern of mucosa. In fact, not only a mucosa, but a villus pattern. These are villi, so that makes this small bowel, doesn't it? You could see uh, muscle underneath you can see connective tissue. Here's the submucosa, and here's some smooth muscle, which has some artifactual cracks in it, often due to tissue processing. Uh, this could be circular, and that could be longitudinal, but depending on how it's cut, we've been fooled before. And there's some loose connective tissue surrounding the muscular layers out here. Well, let's look at the villi. What's wrong here? Well, we can see they still barely look like villi. You can see occasional goblet-type cells. You can see absorptive cells. And you can see a lot of normal connective tissue cells within the core of the villus, uh, which they should normally be. But the one thing that you see here which bothers you is that within this lamina propria, like here and here and here and here and here and here and here, something just doesn't look right. What doesn't look right is that you should not see structures like this within the mucosa of the small bowel. Furthermore, it doesn't look like anything we've ever seen. And therefore, whenever you see some type of tissue or stainable substance that doesn't look like anything you've ever seen, maybe it's something that shouldn't be there. These are worms. Here is a worm that is cut on cross-section. And if you want to see something even more interesting, here is, here's the worm that is cut more uh, longitudinally. These are larvae of the worm Strangeloides. And Strangeloides stercoralis is the most common uh, type of round worm affecting the bowel. And as you could see, it could more than be in the bowel. It could actually invade into the uh, lamina propria of the mucosa of the small bowel. And here, uh, I think, oh, here's, a, here's almost a whole worm. Look how it's kind of spiral. And in this area here, it's not just a cross section like we saw out here, perhaps. You actually are looking at a almost a full longitudinal section of the worm with secondary structures in between. And if you were to take this worm and isolate it nicely and stain it or examine it all by itself, it might look something like this. Because here is a strangeloides worm with more detail on the inside and this little cuticle around it and little point on the tail, uh, what it should look like if it was more uh, nicely prepared for your viewing pleasure. But you must admit, the one here that's embedded within the lamina propria of the small bowel looks pretty classical as well. Um, you may not see this uh, ever in your life, but if you do, I bet you you'll recognize it instantly because nothing else looks like a worm within the small bowel than a worm in the small bowel. And the most common type of worm in the small bowel worldwide would be Strangeloides stercoralis. Thank you very much.